I know you love stories, but some of you don't like to read and some others don't have enough time to read. But no need to worry, I have a solution. I will read and you will enjoy. So let's get started. Bedtime stories. Hello little kiddos. How are you today? I am Sandhya Sisodia. Back with bedtime stories. What is the name of today's story? Let's see. The title of this today's story is The Aunt and the Grasshopper. The Aunt and the Grasshopper On a sunny day, a grasshopper sat whistling a tune. He saw an aunt carrying a stack of sugar cubes. The grasshopper asked the aunt to join him and enjoy the day. The aunt said, Grasshopper, I need to store up food for winter. The grasshopper laughed at the aunt. Ha ha ha! Winter is a long way away. I want to enjoy. The aunt walked away. Soon winter came. The grasshopper could not find any food to eat. He went to the aunt and begged for food. The aunt said, I told you to store food for winter. You laughed at me. The grasshopper felt very foolish. The kind aunt said, I will help you this winter, but you must work hard next year. The grasshopper promised to work hard. So, how was the story? Did you like it? Yes or no? If you like it, you must know what is the moral of the story. The moral of the story is, work today and you can enjoy the benefits tomorrow. Always work hard. If you love the story, like, share and subscribe. Wait, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will get the notification of new videos. Good night, sweet dreams. Hello little kiddos. I welcome you in my bedtime stories channel. How are you today? I hope you are good and you are waiting for the stories. I know. So let's start today's story. The better artist. Who is this better artist? Here is one spider, one honeybee. So, who can be the better artist? Hmm. Guess? Any guesses? No? Don't worry. Let's see. What is this story? Then we will come to know who is the better artist. The better artist. One day, Mr. B and Mr. Spider got into an argument over who was the better artist. They took their case to Judge Elephant's court. Before Judge Elephant, Mr. Spider said, Sir, how can my web even be compared to the sticky, simple patterns of a beehive? My webs are unique, delicate and beautiful. The bee just steals nectar from flowers and make a home. Jet Elephant nodded. Hmm. Mr. Spider had made a good point. Then Mr. B said, Your Honor, even though I take nectar from flowers, I turn that nectar into the world's tastiest honey, sweet honey that everyone can eat. The wax from my hive is also useful. My art is useful to others. Mr. Spider's web might be beautiful, but it can only catch his fly. For him, Judge Elephant declared, Mr. B as the better artist. So what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is, the act of helping others is better than helping ourselves because when we help others we feel good and it pays off also so we will meet again until then bye bye good night and sweet dreams hi guys how are you 
I hope you all are well. I am Sandhya Sisodia and I welcome you in first episode of Bedtime Stories. Today I will tell you a story of a brave boy. Who is this brave boy and what is this story? Let's see. Brave Robert. How Robert get his name? Let's see. Robert was born with a weak leg. He could not play or be like other children. But his parents loved him. For them, he was the most precious child in the world. To make Robert stronger and confident, his father took him to the river and taught him how to swim. His mother gave him nutritious food. Robert grew up to be a confident and brave boy. One day, Robert saw a little girl being chased by dogs. In panic, she jumped into the river. She cried, Help! Help! She did not know how to swim. Without a second thought, Robert jumped into the river and saved the girl. From that day on, the villagers started calling him Brave Robert. So now you know how Robert got his name. I hope you like this story. But what do you learn from this story? Let me tell you. You may have learned that no disability is bigger than your courage. You can defeat any bad situation or difficulty with your courage. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you like this story, like, share and comment.